Elder. Scotty, how are you, buddy? Hey. I'm well. How are you? Hey, good. hey, hey. Good to see you. Scott you Pritchard, too. Executive Director, PGA Tour Canada, with us now to talk about something way more positive. I know we're not going to put you on the spot. We're not going to ask you about this. But are you as, like, today as I am? Uh, I mean, I think the... the <laughs> <laughs> We got I'm really glad I mean, we're on TV okay. for this, I to mean, see the it, reactions, it, to see our minds just explode. Yeah, if you're listening to Golf Talk Canada this <laughs> morning, make sure you throw on the TSN2 as well, because the looks on our faces, you just we can't. Well, so I, I have to give, so for Brian Hayes, who always says on Overdrive, make sure you PVR the show. So mm -hmm. when we had Jim Clark in the center here, I was receiving texts, and I thought they were fake. And yes. I'm not sure if you saw my, my brain explode. Yes, I was wondering, you were doing this to me. Yeah, yeah. And I, I, I was, was like, you what do you want me to really make sauce later? <laughs> Yeah. have you over for spaghetti? I like, mean, I never said that. Mean? It's I wild. That. But Scott, thanks for coming on. Yeah. We, you, you, we had you on. Uh, we had you on last year on our set, and I want to right off the top. So this is now golf's longest day, given the news we just received and how wild today is going to be and the week's going to be. But normally, the Monday or uh, one of the Mondays before the U.S. Open mm -hmm. is known as golf's longest day because people right. are trying to qualify for the U.S. Open, 36 hole qualifiers, etc. And a PGA Tour Canada alum mm -hmm. qualified, Ryan Gerard. Mm -hmm. How special is that for you to see someone who dominated PGA Tour Canada mm -hmm. now excel and is making his yeah. way to the U.S. Open? Yeah, I mean, I think it's obviously a testament to Ryan and, and how hard he's worked on his game. Uh, he won uh, an event on our tour, the Quebec Open, last year, yeah. and you know he has, he's had a meteoric rise, and, and that just shows you how good these players are on PGA Tour Canada. Um, you know, this player went one year, not even a year removed from playing across Canada to now playing on the PGA Tour and qualifying for you know what probably to him is the, the most important yeah. major. Right. Um, so again, it just it just shows how good these players are, and and you know obviously we're super proud of Ryan, and and we'll be pulling for him. And I know our friends in Quebec are, uh, you know, they've ma uh, maintained a good relationship with Ryan, and I could I, I could only imagine uh, last night how excited they were. Yeah. Not, not to put you on the spot, but and, and I don't expect you to have exact number, or maybe you do, but roughly off the top of your head, how many PG Tour Canada graduates do you think might be in the field this week? couple well, dozen i mean they're probably more than that i mean we've i think we have 48 players on pga tour right now with membership wow. um wow. so you're you're probably looking at close to 30 uh, wow. players including some of our current members that that are playing miles creighton who, who right, just, just won on pga yeah. tour latino america is playing um stuart mcdonald who's actually playing in victoria next week right. i think miles is going to take a bit of time off after his win so uh, certainly a number of current uh, and alums. You think of Noah Goodwin, Will mm -hmm. Bateman, Jake Knapp, who finished A lot one, of them two, have three. all been with us uh, on yeah. the in their winner's interview. Mm -hmm. And, and I, I've said this to you before, Scotty, and it's one of the great things, one of my favorite things on this show is talking to guys who have won on PGA Tour Canada and mm -hmm. the next morning for us to be able to tell their story. Because, yeah. you know, the, the average viewer is seeing, you know, your Corey Connors, your PGA Tour superstars, but they're not seeing the next, mm -hmm. you know, players on the LPGA Tour, like Brooke Henderson, et cetera. But how, how special is it for you to see these players grow and come on your tour, maybe whether it's fresh out of college or young, younger, and, and then they mature, they excel, and now they're winners on your tour? Well, I think what you're seeing in golf is similar to what you're seeing in other sports in that these young players are coming in ready to play and mm -hmm. ready to win. Mm -hmm. um, and, and so, you know, people ask me, what's the most rewarding part of your job? And you know, certainly our events make a significant impact in the communities where we play uh, via charity dollars that, that our events are, are raising. But seeing these players come and, and learn how to be a professional and then go on and achieve great things on the PGA Tour. You know, I, I always think about Tony Fina when he played with us in 2013 and, you know, untucked shirt and kind of disheveled a little bit from time to time. And, you know, now he's a five time winner on the PGA Tour. So. Um, and you know, it's you more than just golf. Exactly, it's an education process, and uh, you know, it the the real difference I think, in in my opinion, is that the players that are uh, handling their business well off of the golf course, in other words, you know, booking their travel well in advance, uh, eating well, you know, going to the gym, doing all the things they need to do, are going to perform well on the golf course because they don't have those things in their head that they're worrying about you know where am I going to stay next week uh you know how do I get to the golf course like literally you hear these kind of things and 
uh, you know, the, these guys are all really good players, but but certainly the guys that, that figure it out off the golf course and have good time management, um, they're going to do well. Now, when, when you started with the Canadian Tour, mm -hmm. it was well past its glory days mm -hmm. of the 70s right. where, you know, we've got Lee Trevino on trophies and things mm -hmm. like that. And you have had such a great success. You took over a good tour mm -hmm. and brought it to a world-class tour. Y you and your team have done that. Mm -hmm. How many years now is that, Scott, roughly? Uh, well, including Canadian Tour days, but I've yeah. been with yeah, the no, PGA since, Tour yeah. uh, ten and a half years. Ten and a half years. Yeah. Okay. It, you've accomplished uh, the larger purses, standardized purses, mm -hmm. uh, uh, like as professionally run as anywhere in the world. Uh media partnerships with 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 bell media and tsn i mean to here you've got to i feel a tremendous amount of pride uh everyone in the community thinks you have done an amazing job and i'm not Thank saying you. that just because we're friends yeah. the proof's in the pudding right here mm -hmm. and then next year uh, it's everything's being elevated again mm -hmm. and you've always been about what's right for the player mm -hmm. that's always been your attitude from the day i met you mm -hmm. what are you most proud of wow well thank you for that mark um you know, I think we've built a great team. You mentioned team. We have a, a, a great team, a lot of tenure on our team, a lot of knowledge, expertise, uh, passion. You know, they're passionate about the players. They're passionate about the work they do. Uh, you know, they're passionate about, like I said earlier, the impact that they're making in the community. And when you think about our team, our team isn't just uh, who's in our office, but we have event operators all across Canada uh, who are putting, you know, a lot of work and hard work. It's hard to sell PJ Tour Canada. Um, you know, selling uh, pro am teams and sponsorship. Uh, some in bigger markets where you know you have other options. So uh, they're working tirelessly, and I couldn't be more proud of of the team and what we've accomplished together. And um, you know, I, I I I like to think they they would feel the same. And uh, you know, it's it's been a great run and. Looking forward to 2024 and PJ Tour Americas. It's only going to get better. It's only going to get better for sure. So maybe for those who aren't aware, mm -hmm. uh, what's next here with PGA Tour Americas and how uh, PJ Tour Canada is involved with that? Yeah. So essentially, what we're doing is we've had two tours uh, that developmental tours: PJ Tour Latino America, which started in 2012, mm -hmm. uh, and PJ Tour Canada, which started in 2013. And starting in 2024, we're going to merge the two tours and it'll be PGA Tour Americas. And so there'll be 16 events of which there'll be two segments. So you'll have your Latino America segment, uh, which will be six events. And then you'll have your North American segment, which will be 10 events. Uh, and so what this what this really does is it it provides a better opportunity for players to get to the PGA Tour quicker. And it identifies talent in in, in, a, in a way that we, you know, we've done certainly on PGA Tour Canada, but it'll it'll identify the the players and the top players even quicker. And help them with scheduling, right? Exactly. Th th they no longer have to choose: Am I going to play an Correct. extra event on this side of the tour? Am I going to go to Canada mm -hmm. early, late? Yeah. Under one umbrella. Again, this all yeah, starts uniformity. Uniformity is a word it's that fantastic. I, I think of, yeah. PGA Tour Canada qualifying tournament is happening uh, this week, actually, as we speak, uh, June 6th to 9th. That is the Crown Isle Resort and Golf Club uh, out in British Columbia. Uh, June 15th, it all starts. It's official with the opening event. Uh, previous winner was Scott Stevens. The Royal Beach Victoria Open presented by Times Colonist. And that'll kick off the season. We look forward to talking to all the winners, staying on top of this. You got one? I, I got one more. Scotty? I, I got to ask you. Got to ask you before, before uh, we go. Uh -oh. So the, the Ottawa Open. Ah, uh, yes. Claude yes, Giroux is going to be involved. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. we had Claude on, on Golf Talk Canada last week. Uh, we aired the interview. Mm -hmm. What's that like to have a, an NHL player who he was telling me he's not so sure about his game right now. Yeah. He hasn't. He's got two young boys. He's moving, et cetera. Mm -hmm. But how awesome will that be to have a player of his magnitude mm -hmm. at that tournament? Yeah, I mean, we've been fortunate in, in the past. I mean, Mark Shifley has yeah. played in, in Winnipeg. Blake Wheeler's playing this year. Um, Cole Sillinger yep. got an exemption to play in Saskatchewan. So, And then nice. we obviously have Claude, and there's an announcement coming out about our event in Minnesota as oh. well. It's not me. Um, it's right. not the man. It's not me. <laughs> it's not me. Okay, yeah. But, you know, having a, a guy like Claude, so Claude is actually on our honorary chair of our event in Ottawa, the Commissioner's Ottawa Open. Uh, and he's been great. He's put his hand up to say, you know, I love this and I'll help in any way I can. 
Um, so such a great guy. I think, you know, I think back to when Mark Shifley first played in the Manitoba Open. And quite honestly, if, I think if you ask Mark, he didn't know what he was getting into. No and kidding. I feel a little bit of the same right now with Claude, but I, I am informed that he's hired a, a coach yep. uh, and oh. he's working. Yeah, he's okay. working hard on his game. Good. Uh, we had a site visit to Eagle Creek in Ottawa last week. Our agronomist headed, headed up there and the course is in fantastic shape. So uh, that event to me, I went to school in Ottawa, so I have an affinity for, for sure. the national capital region. So I'm really excited about that awesome. event and having Claude involved. Is, awesome. is amazing. Will we see you this week? Yes, sir. Awesome. Thank Thanks you. Thanks a lot, Enjoy guys. the RBC. Appreciate Dodge it. Dodge any live questions. <laughs> Good to see All you, right? You get any you. live questions, just just no, yeah. no comment. <laughs> yeah. Go the other no way. Comment. Scott Pritchard, Executive Director, PGA Tour Canada. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.